Hi guys, so it's Wednesday, plus three hours. Now you know how I promised for a second time to get the College Store video out this week? Well, I had my camera ready and it actually had a charged battery in it this time. Um, was ready to go out and do it and then looked out the window and saw this site. Yeah, not having much luck with this. New College is currently undergoing a bit of a facelift at the moment, so I could give it a try next week and hope that it's not going to be 25% scaffolding then. So instead, this week, I decided to do an extended video considering I've missed out on one, uh, focusing on some of the questions that you've asked me. A lot of them seem to be referring to very specific aspects of the Human Sciences course uh, and reflecting on what I would have found helpful when I was applying. I thought it would be a good idea for me to take you through sort of what we have to do on a week by week or termly basis. I should probably warn you that if you're not interested in the Human Sciences course or just in the Oxford workload as a whole, you probably will find this very, very dull. Uh, so feel free to switch on to another one of our videos now if you'd like. Now, as you may or may not know, the Oxford year is split into three terms, starting with Michaelmas, then Hillary, and finally Trinity term. Uh, we're currently in Michaelmas, and each of the terms are eight weeks long. As human scientists, in Michaelmas term, we have six lectures a week. The lectures are on evolution, uh, statistics, uh, genetics, sociology and anthropology. They each last an hour long uh, and are at various locations around Oxford. But that's not all we have to do, we also have tutorials uh, and we'll have 16 of those every term. If you don't know, tutorials are uh, sessions that are usually about one or two hours long um, where you and either one or two other students will go and meet a specific tutor and discuss an essay that you've written. Uh, so they're very sort of focused, quite intense um, sessions that you really do get a lot out of. Tutors are usually at the top of their academic fields um, and they're usually spread across colleges. So as a human scientist doing lots of different subjects, you'll get to discover quite a lot of Oxford, not just the college that you've been accepted by. Okay, so now I'll just take you through some of the essays that we've had to do uh, for all of the different tutorials this term so you can get an idea of how much work that involves. Okay, so I'll start by giving you a look at the Sociology and Demography module. This is paper four for our prelims this year. We have four tutorials in sociology for it and four tutorials in human geography this term. And we've currently done three in each. That's three essays in both of them. So I'll show you what we've done. Uh, so as you can see here, um, I've got three different sections, uh, one for each of the essays we've had to do this term. This first essay was, is the family in decline? The second one is Britain a class society. And the third, what explains the levels and patterns of crime? The essays are usually in between 1,500 and 2,500 words. So this one on crime was a particularly long one, uh, so much so that I was actually told to be more concise in the notes in the end. Uh, you can see here a uh, bibliography for all of the books we're told to look at in preparation. So there'll be about six or seven different books or papers that we need to get out of the library or find online and read before we start our essays. What I tend to do is look at each of these books or articles that we need to read and try and condense them into one or two pages so I end up with a set of notes that will be useful for revision in the end and when I actually come around to write my essay. So those are all of the notes that I've done for them. So in preparation for a single tutorial, you're sort of looking at around this much work, depending on how concise you can be. So it's quite a lot of work. Uh, we're advised to spend between eight and ten hours reading and then about two or three hours on our essays but it really does vary between students so it's difficult to say how long it'll actually take you in reality. So I'll just show you the same for geography quickly. 
Um, again, we've done three tutorials, so three different essays. Uh, the first one is what is transnationalism? Uh, second essay, why is migration so often a politically divisive issue? And the third one is what impacts do contemporary migration practices have on families? I'll give you a quick look at the genetics essays we've had to do for this term. As I said, we've had four tutorials, which means four separate essays. We had our last one today. Uh, so this is the first one, and it is comparing and contrasting the structure of the human nuclear and mitochondrial genomes. That was about three pages, uh, and according to my tutors, should have been longer. Uh, and the third one, uh, is how is eukaryotic gene expression regulated and how does this differ from the regulation of gene expression in bacteria? Now this one was a lot longer so as you can see getting progressively more detailed as the term goes on. For genetics tutorials you're typically looking at reading 20 or 30 pages uh, in about three different textbooks um, and you can supplement that um, for extra detail using scientific papers. Finally, I'll give you a look at the work we have to do for paper five this year, which is everyone's favorite subject, statistics. We have four statistics tutorials this term, and I believe we'll have another four the next one. So for the first two, we were looking at different measurement types, so sort of how to display data in different graphs, um, histograms and so on, um, measures of variability, so things like the range, uh, variance and standard deviation, so that's all fairly basic stuff. Uh, second week we moved on to probability, so how to use tree diagrams, um, and in our third tutorial we moved on to different probability distributions, so things like normal distribution, um, Poisson and binomial distributions. Instead of getting an essay for statistics, we'll instead get a problem sheet, uh, which we will complete before the next tutorial and then uh, we'll go over it in the following one. They usually take me quite a long time to get through, um, sort of looking at four or five hours because I don't really get on with statistics, but it, we're very lucky because the, the tutor here is one of the nicest men I've ever met, which is certainly saying something considering stats and I've always been mortal enemies. So next time we'll have an entirely new set of lectures uh, and we'll also have another 16 tutorials in um, four different subjects with the exception of statistics that we carry on with. We'll be studying subjects like ecology and physiology. On top of that, we also have four genetics practicals next term, as well as one physiology practical, so it's going to be a busy one next term. So I hope that wasn't too dull for you and it's actually been in some way helpful. Human Sciences is one of the tougher courses at Oxford. The workload is comparatively large. Uh, however, the fact that you do get to switch between different subjects um, very frequently is that you'll never get bored with the subject. So I hope this video has been in some way helpful, even if it hasn't been my most interesting one so far. Uh, by the way, if you have applied to New College this year and you've been lucky enough to get an interview, uh, make sure to look out for me when you come up because I've um, applied to be a shepherd this year and have been successful. So uh, if you need someone to chat to at any point during interviews, don't be shy, come and say hello. Um, that's pretty much what we're there for. Thanks guys.